I have a feeling you're gonna see a question like this on the next SAT, so here is the easiest way to solve it. We're told the quadratic function f of x is defined above where b and c are two constants. The function increases when x is less than or equal to negative five and decreases when x is greater than or equal to negative five. If the graph of the function touches the x-axis at exactly one point, what is the value of b plus c? So what we need to realize is that if it is increasing until some point and then decreasing after some point for a quadratic, it's going to look like this where it goes up and then down. So we know that that happens, that turning point happens at x equals negative five, but what's the y value? Well, it says that it touches the x-axis at exactly one point, which means that this value has to be y equals zero because right after that, we're going to turn around and then never touch the x-axis again. So that gives us the vertex of our function. The vertex is negative five comma zero. So if we know the vertex of a function, we should always write it in vertex form, which is a times x minus h squared plus k. So that's going to be a times x plus five squared, and then plus zero would just be nothing. And all I have to do then is set it equivalent to the equation they gave us and see what they tell me B and C are. So all I need to do is a times x one plus five squared is equivalent to negative four x one squared plus bx plus c. And then all I have to do is give it a list for x one. So x one equals one, two, three, four, and then if I just write B plus C, I'll get my answer of negative 140. So the answer there is going to be C.